Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I have a new template and album to share with you. Um, for this album, I used DCWV Lace and Linen Paper Stack. And here is the binding. I did use uh, the duct tape, white duct tape, and then just some lace and fiber. And then here's the closure, and I've got the Marion Smith um, little dangle here hanging on this one and then a heart charm hanging on this side and what I did for the front is I put some really pretty trims on and I wanted them to look like wood moldings so I sealed them with um, Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge and then I went over it with a couple coats of acrylic paint and then went over it with folk art metallic pearl white paint and then added these two buttons so they look like little knobs these are just in here for now. Whoever gets this mini can pull these in and out. There's slots on that page, um, ne the next page, where you can slide them in and out. Okay, and so uh, this template comes with the front, which has these pieces cut out. It has these feet, and you'll need to you'll need to trace and cut out two sets: one for the front cover and one for the back cover and your mini album will stand up perfectly. And there'll be pictures at the end, so make sure to check those out. Okay, on this... Whoops, this goes in here. These two little tags. They're just um, uh, spellbinders, little uh, mat, photo mats. Here's an, an I Am Roses spray. And then on this side, I try to make like a little cabinet, a couple cabinet doors that open up. And so they open and you can put a photo in there and then this just goes back over on this side and winds around to hold it closed like that. And I put lace on the bottoms of each page across both to pull them together. Here's the next page. And this is like a little window and it opens up so you can put photos and you'll be able to see through it and then this there's a f spot for a photo there here on the bottom here 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 and here so lots of places for photos there and I just trimmed it out with some really pretty uh, lace pleated trim and then this is just like a little hanger uh, photo mat and both sides are finished and I used a Martha Stewart punch around the page and I used the same punch to do the little pocket and then I made this flower this was one of my I was making uh, fairy flowers for the swap on LSH that I'm hosting and this was one that I liked but not good enough to make all of mine this flower so that's how I came up with that flower and then here's this page this is just a photo mat there's a button, some bling, some beautiful lace, and then this is a little pop out and there's, it's a trifold, there's three, so there's three places on the front and then two on the back. And then it just pops right behind these leaves just like that. There's a little spray from one of the wreaths I purchased and took apart. And then these two pages, this is a little hat. I got these hats at Hobby Lobby, they're just the plain hat, and I added the lace underneath, a little ribbon, and some flowers. And then I made these little library pockets with a Spellbinders die. So there's a tag there and room for two photos, plus a photo on the front. It just slides back down, and same with the top. And to make these, I just used the Spellbinder die, just the top part of it, to cut this part out. And then I used that for the tab on the tags. So you can put a photo here, photo here, and then behind the, the pockets are open as well. And then this is a big photo mat, and it opens and then it pulls out, just like that. And so there's a place for a photo here here, here, and then on the back as well. And then this just slides right back down in here. 
and all I did was make an envelope. I think it's five by five envelope and clipped off the top of it to make, just to make the pocket. And then I got this really cool fabric at Joann's and I cut it out um, with my sewing room die. I also made a flower here. This was one of my fairy flowers that I was um, making and wasn't, you know, happy enough to make a whole set of them. So this was another one I tried out, but didn't end up with going that one with that one. And then here's a photo mat, and there can be plenty of stuff put behind here. So tons of photos, memorabilia, whatever. And then here's an envelope, and it's empty. It's just for leftover memorabilia, tickets, photos, negatives, whatever didn't fit in the album that you still wanted to keep with it. Whoever gets this. Some more lace trim at the bottom. And then this is the closure. And I got these closures at Joann's. They were um, clearancing them out, so I got as much as I could and shared some with my friends. And so that's how it closes. And here is the back. So if you're interested in purchasing this template, please check out my blog. I will have a link on my blog. There will be one page that has just the shape, which is the main pages. One that is this front cover that has the four cutouts and the feet. And remember, you'll need to uh, trace and cut out two sets of feet, one for the front cover, one for the back cover. Stay tuned for the photo show. Also, my other mini albums that I made, uh, the Gabrielle and the Prima Fairy one. I'm going to just put all these on my blog at the same time and sell them. So anyway, check out my blog for the template. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye. Thank you.